Hello garden friends and welcome to my channel DK's Garden Oasis. On this channel I hope to inspire, grow, and conserve in your garden. In today's video this will be the third in my series of seed hauls and this one will be warm season or tender annuals. Make sure you stay till the end for another seed giveaway and also an interesting fact about the world's largest seed. So like I said, this is the third seed hauls and I'll link those above. The first one was vegetables and herbs. The second one was cool season or hardy annuals. This one, like I said, is going to be warm season or tender annuals. And the fourth will be pollinator or native seed hauls. What is warm season or tender annuals? Tender annuals thrive in warm temperatures and warm soil. They should only be planted when the temperatures stay above 55 degrees. Frost will kill them, and even without frost, cool temperatures, the plants will struggle. In my zone 5B in the southwest suburbs of Chicago, our last annual frost is April 25th, and we generally uh, start putting our plants out after Mother's Day, but if we have a cooler spring, it could be as late as Memorial Day. Some examples of tender or warm season annuals are zinnias, marigolds, sunflowers, and patient, just to name a few. Some can be sown indoors or they can be sown directly into your garden. So now let's go through what I'll be putting in my garden this year for your warm season or tender annuals. So the first one is my largest group. And again, um, this is my organization and I'll link it below. It's from Michael's. It's, it's a photo album organizing and I keep all of my seeds in this. So first one will be Xenia's and I have a variety of different companies. So the first one is going to be, I'm going to go by type and so I'll go back and forth between the companies. The first is from Gardener's Workshop and this is Benary's Giant Mix and these are a variety of Benary's. This is Benny this is from Johnny's and it's this is Benary's Giant Lime from Johnny's. Back to Gardener's Workshop, this is Xenia's Zawi. This is Xenia's Uproar Rose. And now I'm going to the Queen series. And I have a few from them. From Johnny's, I have Queenie Lime Orange. Queenie Red Lime. From Gardener's Workshop, I have Queenie Lime Mix. So this will be a mix of the Queens. From Baker Creek, I have Queen Lime and Queen Lime Blush. So they say that they're um, annuals, of course, and they have large three inch plumes, and you direct sow these after your spring frost. They do require full sun. And here's another series I have from Johnny's Oklahoma Scarlet. So this will go with my theme, red, green, and white, and Oklahoma Ivory. Next I have from Johnny's Giant Dahlia Flowered Mix, from Florette I have Zinderella Lilac, and Zinderella Peach. From Burpee I have Xenia Candy Cane, Xenia Tequila Lime. From Seed Savers, I have Xenia Art Deco, Xenia Aztec Sunset, Xenia Swizzle Cherry and Ivory, 
and seeds, seeds and such hybrid Xenia Dream Land Red. The last is from Botanical Interest and this is a different uh, type of Xenia. It's Cactus Flower Blend. This one is called Peppermint Stick and this is Xenia Senora. So those are all my Xenias. And again, I'm, I might be planting where I planted my sunflowers and my dahlias in an area in my garden, or I may be planting it somewhere else. And I hope to find out soon about that. My next warm season annual is sunflowers. So I have from Gardener's Workshop Sunflower Sun Fill Green. And Botanical Interest sent me this uh, tall sunflower, so I'll be planting that as well. This I'm going to be using as both a pollinator and for my sunflowers. This is an excellent pollinator plant. Uh, it's the Mexican sunflower or torch tithonia. And that was from Seed Savers. Also from Seed Savers, I have a mixture sunflowers. From Baker Creek, I have Astra Rose Cream. So that's a different color variety. I wanted to try that. And then also from Gardener's Workshop, I have a variety mix. So this one includes Pro Cut Orange, Pro Cut White Light, Pro Cut Horizon, Pro Cut Plum, Pro Cut Gold Light and Sunfill Green. And these are pollenless, so when you put them as a bouquet, you won't get pollen all over, which is very nice. So those are my sunflowers. Next up, I have some variety, different kinds of varieties of flowers. So the first one is from Seed Savers, and this is a Gerbera California Giants Mix. I love Gerbera daisies, so I'm gonna try these from Seed. A couple petunias, so I have petunia shockwave. Whoops, I have shockwave red, and then I have petunia tidal wave red vel velour. From Johnny's, I have a few asters, and this is aster bonita shell pink, bonita white aster. And the last one from Johnny's Aster is Tower Yellow. Those are all my different varieties of those. Next up I have some more poppies. I know I had some poppies for cool season, but I uh, believe these are telling me that they should be planted uh, direct sow in your garden after danger of last frost. The other ones you could do as a cool season. So these are all from Florette and it is Shirley Poppy Pandora, Shirley Poppy Supreme, and these are red seed poppies, I believe. Oh, here's another Shirley Poppy. This is Mother of Pearl. And these are my red seed poppies, Frosted Salmon from Florette, and Pink Peony. Those are my poppies. Next up, I have Rebenza Cosmos, and these are from Johnny's. Um, Rebenza Cosmos, Afternoon White Cosmos, Next up, I have, these are all marigolds, different companies. I have, from Johnny's, I have Giant Orange Marigold. I have Giant Yellow and Cocoa Gold. From Seeds and Such, I have Marigold Hot, hot Pack mix, Marigold Sunyat Gem Blend, Marigold French Favorite Blend, and Marigold African Kilimanjaro White. All my Marigolds. Next up I have 
different varieties as well. These will be my some of my fillers. And this is from Johnny's Sunball Crispedia. So these are my Gonfrina. I have Raspberry Cream Gonfrina. From Gardener's Workshop, I have Gonfrina White. And from Baker Creek, I have Snow White and Strawberry Fields. Next, I have again a variety of different types of fillers. And the first one up is actually a perennial, but it's a filler, so I want to uh, try this blue glitter, glitter and I'm going to spell it E R N G I U M. Johnny's Lacy White. Johnny's Lacy Pink. Gardener's Workshop, I have. Love in a Puff, Johnny's Mahogany Splendor, Johnny's Etch in Naps, Retro, and from Baker or from Botanical Interest, I have Castor Bean Impala. Those are quite interesting for a filler. I want to try those. And the last filler from Seeds and Such, I have Dusty Miller Silver Dust and Dichondra Silver Falls Seeds and Such. Okay. Next variety, I have our Coxcombs or Celosia. From Baker Creek, I have Jessica Mix. Gardener's Workshop, I have quite a few. Let's finish up with Baker Creek. I have Eternity Mix Celosia. And from Gardener's Workshop, I have Coxcomb Mix. And this one is from Gardener's Workshop, Celosia Plume Sifid, Celosia Plume Selway Salmon. Celosia Coxcomb Gold, Celosia Plume Selway Terracotta, and Celosia Coxcomb Spring Green. Last warm season are my eucalyptus. So these are all from Gardner Workshop. This is Eucalyptus Polyanthemus. Eucalyptus Parufala Gum and eucalyptus silver dollar. So those are my eucalyptus and I think I'm gonna do those in uh, soil blocks, they grow very slow. But I did have them all, um, I did have success with those. Next up from Burpee I have Ice Plant Harlequin and Seeds and Such Alyssum New Carpet of Snow. And the last one of my Warm season annuals, I have Salvia Flare. And the last one I have is Tall Blue Planet Ageranum. Okay, so those are all of my warm season annuals. So it's a, an exciting time now for gardeners right about now starting our seeds. And the first one up in my next video will be Lysianthus. Those take a long time to uh, grow and germinate. So I'm going to be starting those before my last seed haul. So make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell for all of the future videos that are coming up. I have a lot of exciting videos to come. I'll finish up with my last seed haul, the pollinator and native seed haul. And I'll also be doing a video on seed starting and seed starting methods. I'll be having a video on winter sowing, pre-sprouting ranunculus and anemones, and much, much more. So again, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get those videos. It's about to get really busy, which is really exciting. Thanks again to all my new subscribers. I am very close to my one-year goal, so make sure you share this video with all your gardening friends. So the next giveaway will be January 16th at 6 a.m to January 22nd at 
6 p.m. and the winner will be announced the 23rd at 6 p.m. And for that giveaway, I will be giving this Florist Cutting Flowers Collection by Botanical Interest. And what I'll be giving away in this giveaway are Dahlia's Double Blend, Xenia's Cut and Come Again, Orlea White Lace, China Aster Blend, Crispedia Drumstick Flower, these are the Sunballs, Amaranth Coral Fountain, Celosia Pompous Plume Tall Blend, Ami Dara, and Sunflower Golden Honey Bear. So these are all different varieties of florist cutting. So um, all you have to do to enter the drawing is make sure you're subscribed and comment below what types of warm season or tender annuals you would like to either try or your favorites. Now I'd like to share that interesting fact about the world's largest seed. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. Bye-bye.